Hello everyone, Praise Scooter here, and welcome back to more of Twilight Princess. Last time, we finished being in the past. Now we must go to our future, or rather the present. Or is it the past of our future which is the present, or is it the present future which is the past? Time travel hurts. Well done, adventure! Who sees what she was looking for? Goodness, yes, it's the meteor rod you found in the temple. But that thing's been around for quite some time. I can see it from here that it's magically exhausted. Oh, what am I to do? I thought at last I could return to the sky. And I have completely forgotten the spell that would once again bestow magic. I can't be helped. I suppose I'll just have to look through the statues that respond to the rod. It's decided. That what's what, that's what we'll do, that's what we'll do indeed. Well, look who's on her way. See you again. Bye. I hate it. Hey, wait, what did you do with the menu rod? She's gone. I suppose it's a useless rod is really more just more baggage, but what are we going to do? Hmm. Did she just say something about returning to the sky? Last piece of mirror is also said to be in the heavens. If we can restore the magic to the minion rod, maybe it'll come in handy. So yeah, the minion rod, useless. Like, I'm... I don't know if you can hear that. I am mashing the Dominion Rod button. It is useless. It is rusted over and it's useless. Well, that being said, let's let's go ahead and head back to Castletown. We'll do we'll do a couple things. I think uh, rolling into town, so to say, I'll put on the magic armor because I'm gonna try and dump off some rupees. I'm gonna dump off a hundred. Is it the amount I need to dump off? Probably not. Am I gonna do it anyway? Yeah. Why? Cause I'm cause I have I guess I have no idea if I if it's right because I've never ever uh, acquired all the bugs. Reminder, I've never I never have 100 percent of this game. I'm about to do one one percent of that 100 percent Look at me, I'm all fancy. And I'm bleeding money and I'm, ble and I'm hemorrhaging money. Alright, buddy. This Alright, time is money now. Come on. Hurry up. Greetings, Mr. Link. I have come to deliver a letter. Yeah, it's a letter from Renato. Fantastic. Well, I missed to conclude it. Onward to mail. I believe that's actually supposed to be our guiding rod to where to go next. Thank you, game, for guiding me. I have 46 pose. I'm missing 14 pose. I feel like I've been doing really good on this. Anyway. Like, there's something about Ili's memory I wish to tell you. I know you are busy, but please come to visit me in the sanctuary in Kalkarigo. Okay. But first things first, I'm gonna go talk to Agatha in her weird creepy bug manner. It's only creepy if it's only creepy if you say it is. It is. It's incredibly creepy. <sighs> but um, in relation to the pose, you making that my topic of my train of thought and topic of conversation. Also, it looks like we need to come back to Castletown anyway, but I'm gonna go in the way the, the game expects us to go. Um, but on my last time a conversation about Poe's and collecting them. Also, this this does detail the stamps as well. Uh, what I'll do is when I hit a point, there is a very very much a defining point in which I will need to stop and go collect everything. When that point does come up, I will I will use a guide to help me locate anything I'm missing. But anything up to that point is going to be all knowledge and guessing. So whatever I gather is going to be impressive. Anyway, we're down below 100, so let's go ahead and just go normal. I hate that I had to hemorrhage off the money just to be safe. I have brought you a bug. I have brought you the final bug. Enjoy, final bug. Oh boy, oh boy, who's your friend? The snail, I just... Right, I forgot that's what that line is. I will never say that line out loud. You cannot make me. You can try, but you will never make me. Efforts are forever passed on the insect gate of Bright Knight. Please set this declaration of citizenship and the mantle that goes along with it. Alright, that was worth it. Also, don't mind me. Making minor adjustments on my end. If you ever feel like talking to the bugs again, you know where to go. 
Okay, I thought I had the bleed off money. Didn't have to bleed off money. She actually... Okay, so Agatha gives you the giant swallow. Which at this point, you have no real use for. Because you're loaded. You're loaded with money at this point. And because you're loaded with money... You know... You're loaded with money and almost nothing left to spend it on. If anything at all. I mean, what... what what? What do you even... <laughs> yeah, what do you even spend this mo extra money on? Am I buying time for me to get back outside? A little bit. I'm gonna break it. Oh god, you were so tempted. If I could take out my sword. If I could take out my sword, that pot would be dust. Anyway. All said and done. Let's head back outside and warp to Renato. And go the direction the game wants us to go. Now, if I'm recalling correctly... What we're about to do here is a pretty lengthy quest of sorts. Uh, here. No, not the gorge, the town. If I remember, it's a pretty lengthy quest of sorts, but it is a required quest, meaning we have to go through these steps to get what's next in the chain. What that means? Uh, I was hoping you would tell me. No, no, actually... <laughs> It's basically, it feel this is, an, this is a bit of the game that feels like a side quest, but it is main quest with how much, like, padding there is here. Don't worry, it's not going to be like uh, other episodes where I've been out and about doing stuff in the world for, I ran right past my destination. It's not going to be like other, where I've gone out in the world and done various bits of questing and whatnot before, uh, with no divining rod or anything like that you know i had a few episodes like that but no this is this actually has a point of this actually has a point and everything well renato you wish to speak oh. ah i've been waiting for you link fortune has smiled upon us if things go well we should be able to help Ilya recover her memory do you know thomas friend shard well it seems he's researching the heavens and has come here to see the statue in the basement of the sanctuary and as I learned when Ilya was saved, she had someone talking about a rod of the heavens, or something like that. The Gorda that believes to help her regain her lost memories, she, we must piece together the fragments of her past. Which means, if we work backwards from the very place where she lost her memory, we may find something that will restore it. Now, we must retrace Ilya's path. I'm certain that it was Telma who cared for her before she arrived in this village, was it not? We had best to speak with her first. Take, the, take this, Telma. Oh boy, take a letter, Telma. It shames me to say it, but to be honest, I cannot abide Telma's company. Mm. We have a fighting chance, Link. Okay. And what do you say, old man? Well, that girl's memory's back, young warrior. We'll be up to you. Well, even our chief, Darvish, has lost the memory of, in, of his dark time. We have not told him where you, yeah, you were the one who saved him. He's a proud gore. He can be touchy if he knew he had been saved by a human. On the other hand, he does have a strong sense of moral duty. So if anything happens, you can count on him to help. I don't know where his voice was going, but it was going. It was zip zop zoop and bop all over the place. Reminder, I forget voices in between recording sessions. Especially when it's been at least four recording sessions since I did that guy's voice. At least. It could have been more. What are you up to now? Like, you guys know on the time. What are you up to? Episode 52? Episode 52... Man, this is like one of the longer... I feel like this is one of the longer running series I've had in some time. Anyway. Anyway, we need to take a letter to Telma. This is your stand-in for the trading quest, by the way. No, you don't have to go... You don't have to take a can of dog food to, a, to an alligator who gives you bananas to give to a monkey to get a stick to get a beehive to get a pineapple. Yes, I am I am a fanboy of Link's Awakening. And traumatized by it. How could you tell? <laughs> I feel like this is... I feel like what I just went through was, was what they like to call repressed memories. Very repressed memories. Would you actually believe if I told you that even though when I first played Link's Awakening, I was like 9 or something like that, 9 or 10, I didn't need like a guide to help me find everything. I just found it through exploration. Weird, huh? Anyway, enough about my childhood and, and reminiscing about the past. Let's go see Telma. 
as soon as the crowd wants to park. Listen, this isn't rush hour. M m move, please move, 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 move it. Or is it move I speak some Spanish, by the way. <laughs> Not a lot, but I speak some. No, it's Muevetes. I forget pronoun. I forget all the pronouns and crap when it comes to Spanish, man. It's only it's only been a little while. It's only been like ten years at this point, but I've forgotten it all. Hi, Telma. Hey, uh, Renato sends this gift. Oh, well, if it isn't from Renato, the shaman. All this writing, and he doesn't bother to mention anything about little me, honey. That is what I call rude. Well, there's no accounting for the foolishness of a man. And, and at least I can understand Ilya's situation now. Of course I'll lend a hand for that adorable little girl. Hmm, what else do I know? The first one to bring Ilya to the shop was a doctor. Maybe he knows something, but he's a crusty old bat. That's for sure. Uh, got it, honey. You go ahead and t take this to him. This magic little paper will get that dark card you're talking. Oh. The, the, the little codger is a, uh... <laughs> Has a tap. Oh. That was not a small number. Flip it around again. Damn! That was not a small. That. Hold on. That's 17.5 billion. Which, because, you know, remember, this is made in Japan. So drop, like, basically take off the first two zeros. That's still 175 million in American money. It sure would be nice to if she started remembering things soon, eh, Link? It would. That's my friend. You know about my friend? My friend Ilya? She, her brain don't work good no more. Well, is it? Yeah, it's automatically equipped. So, we've actually been up there and I kind of... And I actually did jump the gun a little bit on this. But the doctor's office is actually up here to the right. No, that's Giovanni's place. But we can still keep going to the right here because... This side path will lead us directly to directly to where his office is without having to go through the center of town. Alright, hop. Puppy? Puppy. This is mine now. You cannot take it from me. It is my gift to myself. Hold on, put this down. Hold on, let me pick this up. You want the Oh, look at that butt wiggle. Look at that butt Go get it. Oh, wait, hold on. Go get it. I don't know where I threw it, but he's gonna go get it. You didn't... Oh, did I throw it out of bounds? I'm sorry, puppy. You're adorable, though. So okay, I've had my moment. As my... As my conversation would denotate yes you are supposed to you are supposed to cha you are supposed to kind of the puppies or the dogs do pick up the bone and bring it back to you anyway hey uh you have a little something you need to pay ah! look I can pay this right off right now I can see Thomas hired you for some sort of heavy strong army and but she'll have to wait look lad if it, if I'd be able to sell the wind statue that young lady had I would have been able to get the money but see, I accidentally spilled medicine all over the little carving, which made it stink awfully. I put it outside to dry, but then, well, it was stolen. Who goes around stealing people's stuff anyway? What a world. You always have to be on the guard, eh? Ah, yeah, look, Mr. Heavy, at any rate, ni neither the money nor the carving is here, so I can't repay you. No, to work, to work. Well, he moves. Which, we're going to take a minute here. To push this. Ah, that's what I thought. I thought doesn't he have a treasure chest in here we can get at? No, he doesn't. Okay. So th this I thought there was a treasure chest in here. But we need to sniff this up because it's the medicine. Man, I am so wrong. So we learned the medicine scent, and now we have to follow it. We just have to follow the smell wherever it leads us at this point. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me coming through. Uh, by the way, we are outside as pupper again. Anyway, just gonna go ahead. 
Oh, there's a treasure chest up there. Uh. Well, you know, I kind of want to get that treasure chest up there, so I'm going to go get it. Why are you so scared of a wolf? Listen, for the most part, as long as you aren't, f as long as you don't have food on your person, as long as you don't have food on your person, or you're not, or you stay, or the wolf isn't starving, you're fine. Wolves are the basis of dogs, and dogs are more or less a, as long as you don't mess with me, as, dogs are basically the, you don't mess with me, I don't mess with you, unless you have something I want. I'm really talking circles, aren't I? Anyway. If you excuse me, old codger, I need to get up top. And we need to try this again. Oh, I have to be a dog to climb on this? That's dumb. Okay. There we go. Uh, I'm trying to turn it right. I'm surprised he doesn't hear all that clattering. That was literally a moment of, what was that noise? Anyway. That's all done. Now we can open up this. And we get... Yeah, it was just rupees. But hey, it was it was worth it in my head. Anyway, let's try this again. You're... you're get used to these noises. Oh, right. We're speaking to animals. Hi. Hey, what do you like? I like picking stuff up. But I hate those, the snow here because it makes my paws hurt. No one understands that. Oh, I carry you, but I'm a puppy right now. I can't carry... Puppy cannot carry puppy. Nintendo, fix this. Fix it, post haste. Well, just follow this. The just follow the ste stench. The, follow the stench of. Just follow the stench of medicine and yelling. And oh, we're here. You. You're looking for the wooden statue that you had, aren't you, dear? I think it's coincidence that I happen to know it's got stolen from the doctor's place. No. Yes, I'll admit it. I took it. But then I was attacked by some sort of skeletal dog beast who took it from me. I don't know why those beasts were here after her statue. I thought it likely that she was in a dangerous spot, though. Those fiends lurk just outside the southern gate. Fortunately, they only come at night. And another thing, they always move around as a pack. You don't get that statue back unless you give them a th all thrashing. That statue sounds like a key to Illy's memory back. You must get it back. Back, 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 bark, bark, bark. I like how the Goron at the vendor is just like, what will happen? Somebody say something? Listen, if you're not gonna buy, get online. Anyway. So they're out here, and they only come out at night. This is what a coincidence, so do Pose. Man, I can I tell you, I am so glad that we're done, uh... Actually, I just had a... I just had a thought. While we buy, while we buy some time here, I just had a... But I had a thought that... I am so glad that we're done with the, uh... We're done with the bugs, because now I don't have to go searching for them. Now I can now I can focus my efforts entirely. I can focus my efforts entirely on pose. And stamps. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Anyway, I feel like while we're waiting for nighttime to pass, that there is something here. Yeah, very much yes. Holy cow. Oh. Well, isn't this awkward for you? Link, target! Well, I blew them all up. Hey, that's all I need to do is just blow them all up. Yes, it's a, yes, this was all a minor diversion so I could do this. Oh, I think we can... Yeah, I think we're allowed to go fishing in here too if you want to. I don't know if there's any good fish to get, but you can fish in here. And it's for just for an orange ruby. Dang it. I thought it was going to be for money. Could you not be angry at me, bees? Anyway. I think we'll actually continue this quest next time. So everyone, I do want to thank you all so much for watching this episode of Twilight Princess. And come back next time. We will... Well... Hold on. We will uh, be out here and look for skeletal dogs. I'll see you folks then. Take care.